What's up everybody, my name is Lee Barto, and today we're gonna do a summer favorite. Good old fashioned grilled chicken. Pretty easy, right? We're gonna do it a better way. Not just your atypical way, we're gonna do it the right way. This is Cooking with Style. Now I know what you're thinking. You normally just want to run to the grocery store and grab some boneless skinless chicken breast or some bone-in breasts, but we're going to kick it old school and we're going to break down our whole chicken. Now first you want to remove the legs and you want to save them because later on we're going to utilize those suckers in a totally different way. Hint hint, new video coming. You also want to remove the wing tips and reserve them as well and cut the back out. What you're going to do with the back and the wing tips is you can utilize that with some mirepoix and make some chicken stock so that way you can freeze it and keep it for later on. Trim off all the excess fat that you can find and you now want to remove the breast from the breastbone but you want to keep that wing attached to it, the drum joint. That way we're going to utilize that for some presentation later on. Now what we're going to do is make what's known as a French or clean bone airline, or some other people call it a supreme. You're basically going to remove the meat from that drum joint, pull it all the way up over top so you expose the bone, and then you're going to clean it down with the blade of your knife. So that way it tries to get as clean as you possibly can. Looks great for presentation. Now that we have our chicken breasts all prepped and ready to go, we need to create a dry rub into a paste. We need to start out with some chili powder, some granulated white sugar, garlic powder, dry mustard, smoked paprika, dry Italian seasoning, kosher salt, ground coriander, and onion powder. And don't forget, a little bit of blended oil. Time to make the paste. All we have to do is add our spices to our blended oil and we want to create something similar to wet sand. Now bring back the chicken breast, let's coat them up completely and evenly and you want to put it covered in a refrigerator for about four hours. So since we have about four hours, why don't we make some sauce? We need ketchup, apple juice, brown sugar, hot sauce, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, onion powder, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. We definitely don't need store-bought barbecue sauce, especially not when we're cooking with style. Take the time, make it right, it will taste delicious. So now in a sauce pot on medium heat, you want to toss all of your wet ingredients and bring it up to a simmer. Don't forget to whisk all your ingredients up thoroughly so that way it's a nice smooth texture. The simmering, let's go ahead and add our dry ingredients. Now don't go bonkers when you're adding the brown sugar. You want to add it sparingly because you don't want it to be overly sweet. You want to do it to your taste preference. Let's let that sauce go on low to medium heat for about an hour and a half so it gets nice and rich. So since the wind wasn't very cooperative outside, we're going to have to kick it old school and we're going to grill on the inside on a cast iron grill griddle. Make sure that you oil it thoroughly, even if you are on a gas grill or a charcoal grill, you want to make sure to oil it properly. Now you want to stagger your chickens so that way you get even cooking throughout the entire process. Don't have them on top of each other.
Once you've let it go for about five to six minutes on the one side, let's go ahead and turn. Now you want to turn the chicken breasts on 45 degree angles about every three to four minutes. That way you create a nice crust on both sides, but predominantly you get an even crispier skin. Once your chicken has reached an internal temperature of 163 degrees, yeah, 163, not 165, not 175, 163 degrees, pull it off the heat, wrap it up in foil and let it rest for five to 10 minutes. It will carry over anywhere between three and five degrees. This is what allows the juices to settle back into the muscle and taste delicious and moist. Let's do a plating demo, people. I'm gonna post a link on the top of the screen for the salad. It's a roasted corn and chorizo salad. Delicious, it goes great with grilled chicken. Well, all you're gonna to wanna to do is slice your chicken on a bias, sauce your plate, add your salad, add your chicken, and just be creative. Have fun with it. The number one thing when it comes to food is you just wanna have fun. It's not something that takes a complete rocket science. It's all about enjoying it, getting creative, being artistic, and having a heck of a lot of fun. Now a key element to creating magnificent cuisine is having the freshest ingredients. Make sure when you go shopping or if you're at the market, you're taking a look at everything, you're feeling, you're touching, you're smelling, that truly is what's gonna give you the best result in the end. Now that's a dish that you can be proud of. You just created that. Pat yourself on the back, get a fork, put it in your mouth, make your belly happy. Keep cooking with style. Thanks again for watching everybody. And if you like my content, there'll be tons more videos right about over in here. I think the link's gonna be over there. Yeah, should be. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and see further content, there'll be a link right up over here. And as well, everything that we just did is gonna be in the description down below. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and smash that like button and please subscribe. Once again, keep cooking with style.